Hey guys, my name is Christina. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Installing a hitch on your Porsche Cayenne can take you to some really fun places like bike riding, camping, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. So let's go ahead and jump into this challenging installation. All right guys, so this hitch is gonna be replacing the bumper beam, which is gonna be located behind our bumper back here. To do that, we're gonna to have to take the whole back bumper off, including the tail lights. There's gonna be a lot of fasteners, so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to take all those off. All right, so the first step, we're gonna be using a T25 Torx Fix to go ahead and take off four screws that are gonna be located underneath the body. One here, here, and then two over here on the other side as well. Over here on the passenger side of the vehicle, the next step in the instruction says to remove the mud flaps. However, on our vehicle, we don't have them. So we're gonna start by removing the three fasteners that are gonna be on the side. The remaining fasteners are gonna be behind the wheel well trim. We're gonna need to carefully pull it up just about halfway. After taking off the two, we're gonna have a third one, which is gonna be on the bottom part. We're gonna go ahead and repeat those steps over here on the driver's side. Next step, we're gonna have to remove the taillights on both sides. So to remove the taillights, we're gonna have to remove this little black panel right here to get to the two screws that's behind it holding the taillight in place. We're gonna be using a flathead screwdriver. We'll be using a T30 Torx screw to remove them. To remove the tail light, what you're gonna wanna do is kind of rotate it a little bit to kind of wiggle it in a spot. If the tail light hasn't been removed before, it is um, helpful to have someone else bump the back of it while you pull this way. That way you can remove it. You'll wanna unplug the tail light, that way we can get it out of our way. There's gonna be a little tab, you'll wanna kinda click that back and then it'll remove. Over here on the passenger side still, we're gonna have two screws that we're gonna have to remove that are gonna be on the inside where the tail light was removed from. We're gonna be using our T25 Torx bit again. We're gonna have this fastener over here on the inside of the bumper. We're gonna be using a T30 Torx bit to go ahead and remove that. We're gonna go ahead and repeat on the driver's side. Now we're ready to go ahead and remove the fascia away from the body. I'm gonna start by pulling up here all the way across.
We're gonna go ahead and repeat over here on the driver's side. Now that we got both sides kind of unclipped, we can go ahead and remove the bumper all the way. Over here on the driver's side, there is gonna be a wiring harness that is holding the sensors in place. Um, we're gonna to need to remove that. I'll show you that once I get it taken off. I'm gonna reach behind and unclip it. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull the bumper away from the body. So over on the driver's side is where the wiring harnesses that I had to disconnect towards the center of the bumper are gonna be the clips that we'll have to slide out. Now that the bumper is removed, we're gonna to need to remove the eight existing bolts that are holding the bumper beam in place. I'm gonna be using an 18 millimeter socket with a five inch extension and my drill. We'll repeat that on the passenger side. Now we're ready to go ahead and remove the bumper beam. Now we're ready to get the hitch into position. I'm gonna be using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one at home, it is a good idea to get an extra set of hands as the hitch can get very heavy. So let's go ahead and get this into position. We'll be using the existing hardware to secure the hitch back into position. We'll go ahead and repeat over on the driver's side. Now we're ready to go ahead and torque all of our bolts down a manufactured specification. I'm gonna be using the same 18 millimeter socket with our extension with my torque wrench. go ahead and remove our hitch jack stand. Now that everything is torqued down and into position, we can go ahead and put our bumper back into its spot. Now that the bumper is back, back into its position, we can go ahead and put all of our fasteners and taillights back into position.
Now that we have the vehicle on the ground, let's go ahead and get you guys some important measurements. We're gonna have a two inch receiver from the center of the pinhole to the end of the bumper, it's gonna be two inches. From the bottom of the ground to the top of the inside receiver, it's gonna be 17 inches. That's gonna help you guys determine your length, rise, and drop of your hitch accessories. Thanks for watching, guys.